Hi everyone, this is James from Quad Build Solutions. Welcome to our Articad Basics series. Today we are going to discuss some advanced settings for Windows and DOS. And before we start doing the advanced settings, I want you to look at uh, the 3D of your project by pressing F3 on your keyboard. That will take you to the 3D and look at the window, the door and, and the types of windows that we have selected for our project just to appreciate how they look in 3D. And now let's go back to our 2D by pressing F2 on our keyboard. Now what I will do is I will select all the doors from uh, all the doors in my project and after selecting them I will open the settings dialog box and under the settings dialog box this is where you can do all the settings of how you can customize how you want your door to look like you can put the handle you can put different type of uh, inches and and those other iron mugari and, and furniture that you want to put so these are the types of doors in this list that we have but for us we have selected this type of door and uh, the first dimension here under preview and positioning is the width of the door and the second one is the height of the door the third one is the seal to storage height and for me i want to set this as zero millimeter that's set and now let's go to inched door settings this button here and under this this is where you can choose the type of opening that you want to have for your door and the type of frame here and uh, the type and also the type of uh, door leaf so if I click here you will see all these types of door leaves that uh, have been pre-built in uh, a keycap they are very awesome they are a very awesome collection you can uh, explore them and choose the type of door leaf that you want like for me i usually prefer using this style 34 and that looks pretty well and the ear you select click on that button you see now some types of uh, door addos that we can select for our door let's say for experimentation purposes i selected this and here under floor plan and section if you want to change the color of the pen that is how the door appears in 2d you can change these colors here and for me i'm not going to change mine but you are free to experiment change the colors and see how your floor plan will look like and you are very welcome to check on the other settings and uh, make sure you are well conversant with them so for me i will click on ok here allow it to update then i will go to the 3d view and look at the door you see we placed the handle, we selected the, a very good type of uh, door leaf and that looks awesome. But if you look at our windows, they are the basic type that uh, we had selected. So let's go back to the floor plan and deselect the, the doors and then holding the shift button select all the windows select the windows or select those then go to the settings dialog up here and 
and there are all these types of windows that we can choose from but for our case this is a window that uh, we are customizing so let's go to preview and position and the first dimension is the width of the door of the window sorry and the width our window here is 1500 millimeter that is an equivalent of 1.5 meter and the height of the window is also 1500 millimeter and the seal to story height is set to a thousand millimeter which is equal to one meter and uh, for this project i want the height of the doors and the windows to be the same because up there is where we will place our lintels the ring beam and the lights so the height should be 2100 millimeter so 2100 minus 1500 that is 600 millimeter so i will set my seal to story height as 600 and uh, that's that's okay then i'll go to basic window settings and here you are free to select the type of opening you want to have for your window you have all these types so I'll select option number two and uh, click on this button here you'll see a whole bunch of other settings that we can do like if I go to frame width I can select there to have all my frames equal then go back search options if you click on this we'll have all these types of searches that are available and i like using the the grid so i'll select the grid and and you can set here the number of grids you want vertically and horizontally i want to also my window to have a seal so i'll select and activate the seal go back to the settings and select window mode and i'll select and activate the window mode and if you look at all these settings that are here you are very welcome to try and test them and see how your window will look in in 3d so after i have done that i can go to customize how the window looks in plan and in section by changing these types of pen colors eh? yeah so make sure to check on how they look and hit on okay and when it is updated we go back to 3d and this is how the window looks like pretty much a nice look so i hope you have uh, learned something and thank you for watching this tutorial until next time keep on practicing and make sure to subscribe to this youtube ch channel